Welcome to today's video. So today's video is really important. I see this um, mistake being made by entrepreneurs all the time, business owners, even experienced people that have been in business for 20 years, running law firms, accountants. I see a huge mistake. Now, I used to make this mistake, so that's how I know it's a mistake. Going through my entrepreneurial journey, I remember when I used to try to hire staff, right? Not even just hire staff, hire freelancers, hire people to do some work for me whether it's a bit of website development, copywriting, creating landing pages, marketing, graphics, logos, you name it. I would go onto like freelance sites and I would like find the cheapest person there. And I'd want this person not only to be the cheapest, but I will also want them to be the best and multi-skilled. And I want X, Y, and Z. I want them to be able to do everything for a short amount, a little amount of money. So I would go on and spend so much time finding, negotiating, being cheap with people. And then when they do the work and it went up to scratch, obviously it wasn't gonna, and then I'd complain like a little bitch. And I would like kick up a fuss and this ain't done, that's done. But then, you know, then I'd move on to the next person and the next person, I'd probably have like three, four hires just to get one job done. And not to mention the time being lost, right? So initially I want stuff done in 48 hours, 48 hours turns into three weeks. So that's like three weeks loss of, getting stuff done right so this is a mistake that we make i've noticed this with a couple of my clients recently as well so um you know hiring hiring someone to do some tasks paying very little and not getting results and i'm like yeah, you got to hire good people you got to go in there and hire proper talent yes it's going to cost more but ultimately it's going to save you time it's going to earn you more money and it's going to get you moving getting job getting things done right so make sure that whenever you go to hire that you're not hiring on price. This is one big mistake most people do. They hire on price. What's the cheapest I can get someone? Now, recently we've just opened up a position in my company. And the old me, like three, four years ago, I would have like, I wouldn't even gone half the amount what I'm paying now. The wage that I'm gonna pay, the salary that I'm gonna pay. I would have tried to go on like really cheap, wanting to, I'd give them a list of all the qualities I expect this person to have. I want them to be good at creating landing pages, copywriting, emails, uh, whatever else that I'd want them to have be skilled and I don't want to pay them a lot of money. And then I wouldn't have the talent. I wouldn't find the staff that I wanted, but now I've really upped my game. I understand the importance of hiring good people around you. So we've got to hire people that are smarter than us. We can't be the smartest person in our business. Now, if that's you, if you're the smartest person in your business, it's time to grow. It's time to find someone else smarter than you. Maybe you need to get yourself an office manager, someone who can run your operation for you. So think about the next hire that you're going to make. Have you even made a hire? Or are you trying to be everything to everyone? Another problem most entrepreneurs I see making is they're too busy controlling the money. that They don't want to invest some money in hiring good people. So think about the last time you made a hire. Or are you trying to do everything? You're trying to be the, the salesperson. You're trying to do the accounts. You're trying to do the marketing. You're trying to do everything. And you're not really focused on anything because you're not an expert in any of these areas when you can get an expert in and you can hire the expert, pay the money, but they pay for themselves. Any good staff, any good member of staff should be paying for themselves. If you've got someone in sales, they should be paying their own wage and bringing you some more money. If you've got someone, if you've got anybody in um, like your lead generation, they should be paying their own way. So I want you to look at your team that you've got now. Who's a liability and who's an asset? Who's a liability and who's an asset? Really want you to think about this question. So think about like, how do you hire? How do you hire? What do you look for? Do you look for people on price or do you look for what they can deliver you? So going back to like my early days, I'd, I'd spend so much money, so much time on going cheap, but it cost me more money. So yeah, I'm going cheap. I'm hiring one person, then the other, then the other, then the other. Five people can't do the work and I've paid all this money out to five different people when I could have probably got the job done for half the price if I didn't go cheap in the first place. So one thing that you should have in your business, you should have a, a process to bring in fresh new business, like leads into your business, new people into your ecosystem. So you should have, whether it's an organic strategy or a paid marketing strategy, you should have some means of bringing new people in. You don't just want to rely on current business because once that dries up, guess what? You are exhausted. There's no new sales coming in, no fresh. So maybe you can't, you're not that person right now in your organization and you're complaining that you're not getting the leads, you're not attracting the right customers, the clients. But what are you actually doing to make this happen? Do you have a system in place? Now, I've spoken to people that have organizations like 20, 30 staff, 
And I was shocked to find out that there was no, there was no way of building their sales pipelines, bringing new people in just because of the fact that they had to hire somebody. So they'd try to get one person in the accounts or the office manager to take over the lead, the lead structure, the lead generation, bringing in new business when that person's not trained, that person's trained to do what they want to do. So, and also the other thing I've noticed is that sales, they don't have sales as sell somebody in sales running the being ahead of sales or being in charge of making sales. They get a phone inquiry in, hello, how can I help? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's X amount. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's too much. Okay, sorry, thank, thank you, bye. And you get that. So a real salesperson, they get the inquiry, they would talk them through, walk the prospect through a series of questions, okay, with the intention of leading them down to a path of agreement. Firstly, finding out where they are, what they want, what the problem is, and how, and if we can help them. And if we can help them, then we extend the conversation, right? Uh, a lot of people get caught up when they get a price objection. Oh, all right, that, that's all. I just want to know what your price is. Okay, you want to you know what the price is, but what about what do you want to get done? How urgent is this job that you want doing? You know, find out where that person is. So your, your receptionist, the person who's picking up your phone could be costing you a lot of money. So think about how many sales that you could potentially be losing on, an, an, on a monthly basis, on a yearly basis by not having the right team by not investing in your people, by not investing in new people, a team. Think about this. So business dries up. What are you going to do about it? So think about your sales. Think about your marketing, your lead generation. I want you to start to, I want you to, start to up your game. Ask yourself a question. Whoever's the leading person in your industry right now, okay, the, the, call them the big boys or big girls. If you watch them, they'll have, they'll have people in different roles, the head of departments. So if we want to, if we want to multiply our income, multiply our business, right? We've got to be willing to not play it cheap. Hire good people, hire, hire a team. So what's the next hire that you could make? I want you to analyze your business right now and think, all right, where are we weak? Where could we strengthen up? Where we do, where do we need champions? So I've identified that in my business and now we're recruiting. Now we've actually got a position open for someone to do uh, work full time in our digital marketing side of things, right? Our online digital presence, our, our lead generation. Now I'm not going cheap. I want to hire real talent. I want to maybe headhunt somebody from some, some other organization that will pay their, whatever I'm paying them in the year, they should pay back. They'll make the money back in the first month or maybe the second month. I want that person to be able to pay for themselves in one month, right? So they paid for the rest of the year and everything they've come bringing into the business for the next 11 months is pure profit. And if I go cheap, guess what? I'm going to be hiring and firing, hiring and firing and 10 months will go by. And this person has is been nothing but liability. So we want to have asset income producing team. Okay. So now I've also, I'm also offering a very healthy commission structure. Now I'm in talks with recruitment agencies back in the day. I would never even have dreamt of hiring a recruitment agency purely because how much money they charge, what they're going to charge 20% of the salary. I can't afford that. Um, I'm just going to put some adverts up on all these, all these like different websites, see if I can get somebody without paying that money. But I know that's a slow way and it's going to cost me money by me going cheap. It's actually going to cost me money because I'm going to have to go through all the work and I have to try to uh, check out their CVs, check out, do the background checks and interview them, phone screen them. and da, da, da. But I hire an agency. Yes. Right. It's going to cost me. Okay, but ultimately it's going to save me. So 20% of the, of the annual salary, whatever it is. But here's the thing. They know how to recruit. I'm not a recruiter. I, I'm, I'm not a recruiter. I don't claim to be a recruiter. So I can't do the job that a good recruiter would do. So that's why I'm hiring a recruiter agency to do all the work for me, take the ground, break in hard work away from me and use their expertise to, to prospect these people, to find out, ask good questions and do the checks and, you know, see what, what we want. So that's what I'm doing now. So I operate my business in a very different way to when I was broke because I had a broke mindset. I was going cheap and my results weren't changing. So I realized after speaking to so many successful people, I'm asking, listen, I know the mindset side of things, all right, super important, but what's the next best, what's the next most important thing in growing your business? I recently spoke to a friend of mine and uh, I said, listen, dude, what's your secret? I mean, you're, you're making all these sales, you're, you're doing X amount per month. What's the secret? And he said, teams, one word, he said, teams, hire smart people. And we've heard the success leaves clues, right? So I'm taking advice of highly successful people. So if somebody tells me that, listen, 
one of the most important things you can do is actually invest in your people in your business find like really talented stuff now i'm not on about low level entry people i'm on about real talent right and pay them well they'll earn you the money so that's what i do so i i understand that how important the mindset is your subconscious mind that you've got to be programmed for success in the first place so you can't just hire my you know like spend loads of money on like ads and stuff and expect them to work if your mindset is not set for those high levels of income right so we've got to be programmed for success so i want you to really like dedicate some time into your business make a map get a whiteboard you should have a whiteboard i've got a whiteboard i've got a huge big 1.8 meter whiteboard that i get my pens and fancy pens out and do some all sorts of planning so i want you to look at your business i want you to say right do i have a way of bringing in customers into my ecosystem clients and do i have a way of selling to these people do I have a list of database that it's useless, that we're not even contacting them, we're not going into uh, past conversations that we've had, made notes on each person. So the other thing is that if you're in sales, you should also have like a record where you can like say, well, I spoke to, you know, I spoke to John like in 20, 2019. Uh, he said it wasn't the right time for him because he's selling his house and he needed to get the money from his house. And oh, well, now it's 2022. Shit, what if John sold his house and he's got all that money sitting there? And, and he's lost your details and he's got all about you and he's thinking what was that company called that i spoke to about that i really wanted to work with and i couldn't because at the time my house wasn't sold i didn't have the money all of a sudden you can ring that person up and say you know what i've been looking for your number i forgot what your company was called i was going through my emails i couldn't find you i'm so glad because i sold my house and here's here's where i am now i'm in a better position than i was then can we work together this is how things happen right but only if we are aware so this is one thing that i really hope that you've got some value from this video right because i want to help you really scale your business up so we've got a success leaves clues and i'm giving you some clues right now i'm telling you what i've tried in the past that didn't work and now what i'm doing that does work right so take a look at your business be a forensic scientist on your business right you've got to treat your business seriously we've got to understand that your everything that you want can come from your business right come through through your business so i will see you on the next video if there's anything i can help you with any topic that you want to uh, me to talk about drop a comment in the box Below, make sure you just like and subscribe and share to anybody else that you feel that would benefit from this video. See you on the next one.